Hello, this is Ali for the Ali from cookie.com. In this video, I'm showing you how you can make some sort of scroll sensitive animation using the scroll motion effect in Adobe Muse. But before you go to Muse and apply the scroll motion effect on this parts of this lion head, you need to go to Photoshop and get it ready for Muse. What I mean by get it ready is to get all these parts, all these parts of this head separated into a new layer. To do that, it depends on your project and it depends on the image you have. If you're working on a more complicated image, you can use different tools and different methods. So I select the image, select each part, and cut it into a new layer, like this. And I do it for all these parts, one by one. Well, because I did it here, it will be, let me show you that it will be like this. You will have all the layers separated, all the parts separated, each in a new layer. Okay, now let's undo this and go to file, save as, save it as a PSD file. I think I did it before. Yes, lion head. And make sure that you have this layers option checked. So it will save all the layers you have. Replace. Okay. Go to Muse. Let's open a new project. Okay, now you should change the height because this is a scroll motion project to 5000. Maybe that would be enough. Turn the fill off and turn the stroke off. And now we place the file. Place, lion head, import layer, don't check this because it will stream the layers and select all the layers, I'm holding the shift key selecting the first one and then selecting the last one Okay. now start placing all the layers they will be automatically placed on their, own, on their right place on the, on the place that they should be because we didn't trim the layers we save them all at the same size and now let's put it here it's not doesn't make a big difference right now select all the layers go to scroll effects turn it on and as you can see this handle it tells me where to stop where to stop these layers when you're scrolling down let's put it a little closer to the top of the page I say maybe 150 okay no sorry the other way <laughs> 350 that's less than that 300 yeah yeah not bad well let's put it on 350 uh, sorry um, 250 okay well I'm so picky about these sizes and spaces and distances let's put it okay it now it doesn't matter how, how you move the layers and what to do with this shape and with all the layers they will all stay here at the end of the page at the bottom of the page why because we are going to set these two values on zero motion after key so when these all these handles with all these layers when these handles hit this this place which is the top of the page it will stop so when it when you're scrolling down it's going up it's going up it's going up and the handle hits the top of the page so it stops zero zero this is unchained which is good no left and right which is zero let's unchain this again it changed itself and <laughs> okay now let's put it on one but we, we don't want it to go up with the speed of one we want it to come to the page when you're when we are scrolling down coming to the page from the top of the page so it should come down so before this handle hits the top of the page each one of these layers comes to the page from top of the page where you can't see actually with the speed of one and now let's select all these layers zoom out 
and put it right here. Now when you publish the page, Command Shift E. When you're scrolling down, the line comes in and it stays there. I'm still scrolling down, but it stays exactly where it should be because we put the handle here. And now this is a trick. Select one of these layers, zoom out. Move these move this layer to the bottom of the page like here and now select all the layers again go to align and this is the magic <laughs> okay that's it now you have all the layers separated in different places but as I told you because the handles the distance between the handles and the shapes themselves the layers themselves are exactly the same they will stay at the same place when you're scrolling down which means this command shift E now when I'm scrolling down they are coming to the page one by one one by one and when you get well I, I need <laughs> more height let's go to page properties and put it on 7000 it depends on your project and it depends on the image you have okay let's undo this and let's set the minimum height of 5000 okay for example you have a project that you only have 5000 this this is the value for your minimum height and you don't want to change it because this is your project but you want to make an animation something like this so you move some of these layers up uh, let's not do this let's undo what I did when you are moving one of those layers what I did and put it at the bottom of the page put it a little bit closer to the head here and now select all the layers and that's it let's bring them down just a little bit so they will start from here okay now when I'm scrolling down they are getting shaped the head is getting shaped and now that's it you will have your lion you're scrolling down and the lion head is getting shaped that's it and you can apply this process you can use this method for any type of image and any type of illustration whatever you have there is only one thing that you need to remember to make a PSD file go to Photoshop, separate the, the parts of the image into different layers and cut them out and then import them to Muse. They, they, have, they have to be a single file, a single PSD file. And that would be it. The other parts are more than easy, I guess. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed watching it.